Hi, I'm Paweł S and apparently the formula of the vlog is kind of more popular than I really ever expected and it's strange to see that some kind of stupid talk I did about something is way more popular than really long and complex video about some technical stuff but you seem to like the vlog formula so let's have a vlog formula. Starting from today I'm officially not a 1.2 gigahertz virgin. I did my first flights with 1.2 gigahertz FPV system. This time Promatic. Uh, I got this few weeks ago and I already recorded at least two videos on the topic. And all I can say after my first experience with 1.2 gigahertz video in general is that there is a reason why so little people use it. There is a reason that almost everybody if really is not wanting to go long range, is using 5.8 gigahertz. Yeah, there is a reason. There is a reason. It's not fault of Matek. It's not fault of uh, this specific hardware. It's something that I expected that would happen, uh, happened exactly after I took off on my airplane. Guess what? Yes, I'm using 900 megahertz air ceiling. And guess what? Yes, it was interacting with the 1.2 GHz FPV link. Guess what? Immediately after my transmitter, the R9M, switched from the lowest output power to higher output power, I immediately lost the, uh, the, uh, the video. Okay, I did not lose, but it was su such a garbage that I was really unable to fly. I had to land loss. What was really happening? Um, not only the R9M transmitter was just too close and I had no hope, no way to move far away from the receiver, but every time that one of the bands from the R9M was close to close to video video frequency, it was just like putting so much noise on it that it was unusable. When I switched the transmitter power to the lowest output of 10 milliwatts, it got better, but it was still getting those peaks which were coming from the telemetry on the receiver, from, from the airplane to the, to the transmitter. When I get rid of the telemetry as well, and I was only using the output, uh, lowest output power without telemetry, it was almost good. Still not perfect, but almost good. Probably if I would be brave enough to go really, really far, I really would have kilometers of bloody range. But unfortunately, uh, it's not only cold, but extremely windy. And to be honest, I should not be flying, excuse me, airplanes today because it was really at least not pleasurable. But also something completely different was happening because of the transmitter was uh, powered up after I plugged in the LiPo, uh, the GPS really took a shitload of time to get a valid fix, like three or four times longer than usually. So if I will want to continue using that, I would have to get me some kind of a switch that will enable the 1.2 gigahertz transmitter to, to work only after uh, the GPS will get a fix. So um, it's different. Uh, it uh, for sure creates uh, much more problems than the 5.8 gigahertz and also 2.4 gigahertz video. It's also, let's not talk about the legality of that. Let's not. Yes. No, not. No. Okay, in my culture, this means no, this means yes. So, no, let's not talk about the legality of the 1.2 gigahertz. And um, I will have to get me some not filters. Mm, maybe the not filters on the 900 megahertz will kind of improve the situation and the uh, overall experience, which will be much more pleasurable. Yes, but. I'm no longer a 1.2 gigahertz virgin, and I think that's uh, that's a pretty good, cool, good, pretty cool thing. So that's all for today. Until the next one. Bye bye.